Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today I've got two game shops that I visited on the weekend. I want to show you what I picked up. Let's take a look. Okay, so first of the game shops is Hidden Chess Gaming. And this is owned by and run by uh, Dainster off of YouTube. I'll link to him below, but you should all know Dainster. I'll put a link to all the, the shop details down below just so you can have a look. But really check it out. It's got Retro games in there, obviously. A really good selection of retro games. It's got retro toys, everything from figures on card. It's got loose figures like Turtles, Ghostbusters, Star Wars, uh, Warhammer figures and things in there as well. It's got absolutely loads of stuff in there. Board games, everything. Everything you can think of retro, nostalgic, is in this shop. And it's a really cool shop. I'll run a little bit of footage now just to show you what the shop looks like. I didn't get too much, but you'll have a, a bit of an idea of what it looks like. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what I picked up. Cool. Okay, so you can see, really cool shop. Um, I just want to show you quickly what I picked up. I don't normally do pickup videos, um, so I'm going to run through these as quick as I can, and then we'll go on through the shop that I went to while I was in the area. So, first up on the pickups, Time Crisis. Um, I've got a decent G-Con collection here behind me, and I didn't have the black box Time Crisis. I think this is the one from the G-Con box set, because it's a slightly different black case than your normal uh, PlayStation 1 games, but still, cool, nice complete game manual and everything in there so really nice chuff to have that because I've only got a platinum version of that for myself at the moment so that'll go with my G-Con games in a bit I picked up Dirt 2 I'm on a bit of a racing buzz at the moment for the Xbox 360 I'm just converting one of my arcade games I'll do a video on that once it's completed it's going to run Xbox 360 and a, an arcade emulator system in there as well um, but nice and complete Dirt 2 I've got Dirt 3 and I think I've got Dirt Showdown as well but I didn't have Dirt 2 so pick that up. Rally Sport, I think I actually got this one already. I didn't I looked on my app to see if I had it and I obviously haven't registered on there. I'll double check with my my games along the top in a bit just to see if I got it. But again, nice complete, nice condition. So if I have got it I'll obviously keep the best one for myself. I've got two different Ford Racings. I've got four Ford Racing 2. Again that one is complete. Nice condition and Ford Racing 3, complete and nice condition. All of these were like a pound, absolute bargain. That's that's charity shop prices in a shop, in a retail shop, absolutely amazing, really chuffed with the prices and everything. Uh, Forza Motorsport, the original, uh, wanted to get that on there as well. I think I got 2, 3, 4 and Horizon up on the shelf already, but I didn't have the original, so I got that in the collection as well. And then two Master System games. Lion King, didn't have it for the uh, Master System. And that one's without manual, but really nice condition, cart and box. I'm not a manual collector, I don't really wor worry if I haven't got the manual. And a game I didn't even know that came out on the Master System is Strider 2. 
Um, I love Strider, I've got it on the Mega Drive, I've got it on the Japanese Mega Drive and yeah again no manual in there, Dana's put the receipt in there but yeah really nice condition box so I'll be having a blast on that in a bit. I haven't got it out here but I also picked up from Hidden Gem the loose cart for Micro Machines. I'll put a little bit of footage in now of me playing it on my uh, Game Boy Advance because it's been in the house and it hasn't left the console yet so I'll put that in as well. That's my pickups from Hidden Gem Gaming, let's move on to the other shop. Okay, so while I was up there, I went to a second shop. Um, you've, got to, you've got to go to all the gaming shops in the area while you're up there. So, um, actually, I didn't go to the third one. There's another game shop, apparently, not far from where I went as well. But the second shop I went to was Vintage Gamer. Um, if you've not seen footage of Vintage Gamer, I'll show a little bit in a second, but I'm only going to scratch the surface. Didn't really film much in there. shop is insane the, the floor to ceiling of the games and things in there massive selection of games but I only picked up a couple of things because I didn't really despite all the amount of games there I only picked up a couple of things I really wanted I only picked up three games and one accessory from Vintage Gamer first one being Taz Escape from Mars is it yeah Escape from Mars um, not complete but the cart and the box are in good condition there's a little bit of fraying going along on that edge but I can probably trim that and make that look really nice um, put that back into that insert. Uh, second game I picked up, and I've not played this on the Mega Drive, I used to play it on the PC when I was younger, um, Theme Park. So I'm really looking forward to that. That one is complete, and it's your big EA game box set, so really chuffed with that one. Third game is V Rally 3 for the original Xbox. Again, that one is complete with post it and everything else in there. Nice condition. Okay, so I only picked up one accessory there, and that's an S model uh, original Xbox control pad. Really nice condition. Um, everything moves and freely as it should do. All the buttons work. I haven't tested it out yet, but I'll give that a blast in the next day or two. Okay, so that's pretty much it from the two shops. Um, it was pretty cool because you got to meet some other tubers there because it was the opening day of Hidden Chest Gaming. Uh, quite a few people turned up for the opening. There was uh, I'm probably going to miss people, so sorry if I do. Tutti. Uh, Fob, Big Game Al, Russ Retro Bear, Paul Ink Northerner, and we've seen Jim Corbana and uh, Vintage Gamer as well. So yeah, really good to meet up with a couple of people, see people, have a chat as well. And yeah, just cool to get up there and see some new shops. I'll no doubt be back up to Hidden Chest Gaming. I've already got an eye on a couple of figures up there. I wouldn't mind getting a, a complete turtle set at some point. So yeah, Dana, I'll be back up to see you soon. Cool, thanks for watching. Drop us a comment down below or give us a subscribe, a like, whatever. I'll catch you soon.